School is a good thing. Learning is a good thing. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Kame Heritage. After our talk on the secret of Top Achievers Part 1, I received some queries from the Generation Z, the youth. Some were asking me if those ideas are from their own point of view or it is from ours <laughs> some years ago. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing, you know. So I had to do something to validate those five points to make them relevant, to convince them that those ideas are necessarily all from the parents, you know. And it's, it's important as well because, you know, this is term four, exams will be written soon, so we need to put out these ideas. And because of that, yesterday was quite hectic. I went to some schools to try to look for top achievers. After school, I spoke to the, their parents because we need to build a community. We need to give back. We need to share our blessings. So some of the parents, yeah, go, give me a go ahead. So I spoke to a couple of them. Yes, yeah, some were brave. And kind enough so today's talk is going to be on those ideas that I had to source to be able to confirm those five points so let's get to the video now and listen to it yeah. so the most important thing would be to listen in class mm -hmm. and um, try to like listen to teachers advice and tips um, and then the next thing would be to practice all the topics that you struggle with and make sure that you practice consistently for exams and to prepare in advance for exams and then yeah, try not to stress before exams because that can make it worse. Okay, and thank you so yeah. much. Okay, but that's kind of it. Coincidentally, she listed five points that resonates with what we explained or we discussed previously. So today's talk, the secrets of top achievers part two. So we're going to show, share more ideas from these um, <clears throat> top achievers. And like I said, this point is very relevant because you know, even schools and universities in a few weeks will be writing final year exams. So they need all these points and these guidelines, you know, to prepare them to give us those distinctions <laughs> and those good marks. Yeah, so the first point that she listed was that of, you know, listening in class. Yes, it's, we in class for a purpose. So we need to listen to what the teacher is saying, listen to what other learners or students are, their explanation of, you know, questions and ideas to be able to Get better understanding then the second point she she listed is to li listen to the advice the tips from the teachers of course the teacher is there to help you pass every good teacher will want everybody in the class to pass so and if you are vigilant if you are purposeful if you are deliberate you will get those tips to help you pass you know so um it's important that you listen to those tips Listen to those advice, especially when you know when the when the teacher is explaining. There are certain concepts or ideas, terms that defines a topic that you need to understand it to be able to understand a topic. So when the teacher is explaining, it's when he or she gets to those points, they explain it better and then give good examples. So if you listen carefully, such explanations will help you to understand the topic and become good student, top achiever, you know. So that is the point, the second point that she made. Then the third point is that it's good to spend more time on difficult topics. I think that's brilliant. I didn't mention that in the previous one. You know, again, some topics are difficult. So it's good to focus on those topics and the concepts you need to be strategic when we're studying. So that's a good point. Yeah, the, the fourth point is that um, we need to prepare in advance for exams. Correct. 
That's a very good point. It resonates with what was said in The Secret of Top Achievers Part 1. Yeah, school is a really a good thing with those secrets being revealed. Once you prepare in advance, you won't stress. You will look forward to writing that exam. You know, you will look forward to even studying once you prepare in advance. So that is really beautiful. You know, sometimes we don't like studying. Studying is like climbing a mountain. Ah, you know, studying, once you prepare, it's easy. I, for one, because I like to study with the purpose, I can spend longer hours in the library because I've been consistent. The fifth point that she made is to avoid anything that will get you to stress. Don't put yourself under pressure. Avoid any situation, you know. Once you're preparing for exams, you need to be conscious about that. Avoid anything that will get you stressed up or help you up. Avoid that. That's a good point. You know, there are a lot of things that can get you stressed. Again, piling notes, assignments will put you under pressure. So once you, a daily thing, you, you strategize, this, this is what I'm going to do on this day. It will make your, you know, preparation for exams easier, writing of that exams easier, and so forth, on and so forth. So those are the five points that you listed. Because then you, I also listed five in part one. So, but for other points, explain to me without record. Like some students said they to sit in front. Those beautiful, I didn't say that. That was not listed. I like to also relate to my experience. I like sitting in front. The idea is, you know, that if you sit in front, you it's easier for you to focus and get avoid distraction from other students. Sometimes distraction from behind don't get to reach you, you know, because you are you are focused. So then another idea that um so I also got from those students is you should ask questions that would prompt the teacher to to explain something further. You see, like when exams are coming, if you imagine a question that can come, you know, or you speculate something and you ask a teacher in class, you can tell if you see that that teacher is explaining further, trying to explain that topic, <laughs> hit it. You tell whatever he or she is saying because you know <laughs> you are nailing it. You are getting it from the horse's mouth. You see. So you need to have all those ideas, tactics, those little tricks to prompt the teacher to say more, to, to even know if this thing is going to come because, of course, teachers will not spend, like, when you're about preparing for an exams, teachers will not spend more time explaining things that will not come in the test if they are giving guidelines for, for you to prepare for your exams. So we have, you know, we need to be strategic as well about that. You know, and then one other told me that what takes her to sleep is what happened in the class. She reflects on those things that happened in the class, the explanations, you know. So it also helps her to remember so that when she's studying those notes, it's going to be lighter. Yeah, another point that one of them made is that she eats very well and eats healthy to not to get tired easily when she's studying you know because the well, thinking you know mental work this, takes a lot of energy so if you don't eat well then you will be having headache that's what she she said and, and, I, and I can relate to that as well in my days I eat very well it beans <laughs> yeah beans takes long beans is like a low GI it takes long to 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 digest you know to so it's the energy is really energy is released slowly. So you can keep spending longer hours in the library and study very hard with understanding because you've eaten well and healthy. If she doesn't you don't eat well, you, you get tired easily and it takes long for you to understand a certain idea. So those are some of those tips. The extra points that I gathered from talking to those students yesterday. You know, that we need to expose and get our youths, our heritage, to make us proud and be proud of themselves. 
so that they will also give back tomorrow to the community with confidence. Yeah. So that's that. So, and it makes me happy because it's still about being conscious, being deliberate, making those those moves to help you improve your marks, to help you pass. School is a good thing. Learning is a good thing. So yeah, so this is what I can gather from our part two. Those important points. Five, 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 five. So keep it in mind. Our generation Z. Them. Yeah. So thank you for listening. Yeah, guys. You can agree with me that after such a hard work, it's good to relax. Eh? Yeah. So and I want to relax with a bit of wine. The schools yesterday and putting this together just for our precious, 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 precious generation. Z, our heritage. It's necessary to just have a sip. And you know, this is pinotage, eh? And red wine is healthy for the body. To be taken in moderation. Yeah. Please do remember to hit the like button. Subscribe, comment, and share. See you soon. Ta -da -ta -ta. School is a good thing. Ta -ta 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 -ta. School is a good thing. Thank you. Bye.